Hey guys, so I'm back with another floral design and what better for prom than roses? Now I've already painted my nails with White Toast from Urban Outfitters and Heartthrob from OPI. And then we're just gonna jump right into painting. This is just a quick look at my palette. First, I'm taking the darkest pink and a little bit of black and you wanna create this darker pink slash mauve color. And then you don't have to be really neat about this step, just kind of throw some circle type of shapes in there and it's a rose. I also took, again, a little bit of black and mixed that with my light pink and made this light mauve color. More random oblong row shapes. Then I'm going back into those flowers with the colors that are undiluted and unmixed and basically drawing what can best be described as like um, open C shapes. Basically you wanna start to create those folds and layers to your roses. And again, I go back and do the same step with white. So I'm gonna be repeating the same, same steps over and over again, but with different colors to create layers so that it looks three dimensional a little bit. You can totally omit this step and um, kind of swirl your colors together and it'll kind of look the same. Now if this seems way too intense for you, which hey, I totally understand because this print is actually pretty small. Um, so if this is intimidating and you think that this is just a little bit too much work, don't fear, I have a cheat sheet coming up in a second. But first we're gonna finish off our roses. So I mixed my green and my blue together to get a teal green. And we're just going to randomly kind of squiggle in some leaves. You don't have to be precise about this at all. And then I just mixed that color with a little bit of white to create a mint. And then I used that to highlight. Okay, now that that's over, we're gonna move on to our roses nail hack. And all you need is a dotting tool. So you're gonna place two dots of your main color and then you're gonna place another two dots of a white or a lighter version of your main color. Here I'm using a light pink. Then you're gonna take a smaller dotting tool or a brush and you're just going to start in the middle and swirl outwards. You can also go back in and add more color if you need to. And that's it, dry your leaves and you're done. See, that was easy. Feel free to do this design on as many nails as you want to. And next we're going to move on to our 3D element. So I am using um, Jellish's, Jellish's, really, that's not a word. I'm using a builder gel from Jellish. In other words, it's basically a hard gel. If you were wondering if you can use another type of gel, absolutely not. No, you have to use a hard gel. And this is the reason why this element is standing up. And if I use anything else, it's going to fall. Simple as that. And also I should mention, you want to use a gel top coat before you actually put this element on your nail. You cannot put this onto regular nail polish. And the reason why is it just simply will not adhere. It's not designed to. So as you wash your hands and all other jazz, moisture is gonna get underneath it and it's gonna come off. Okay, pumpkin? So go ahead and apply any embellishments that you want to and then apply your top coat, but don't forget your cuticle oil because this is the most important step. Now, we're really done. That's it guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, you know what the best way to let me know is? You can just like go press that thumbs up at the bottom of the thing. Give me a thumbs up and I'll give you one back. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. Number one, it's free and number two, I have one more prom look coming and guys, I think this is my favorite nail to date. As a matter of fact, what I might do is I might go post a sneak peek on Instagram. So if you aren't already following me, you should definitely go do that. As a matter of fact, pause this video and go right now. Just go click, click, click the button.